Mike. Matt Mike here, Yamaha GRTR Racing 21. And we are removing the head off of 2004 Dodge Cummins. So we got the airbox removed. Oh, air filter, downpipe, shroud. And what are you working on? Intake. Intake. Oh yeah, by the way, it's Chad Smith from WW Engine. So we gotta remove this upper valve cover and the lower one. Get all this shit off. Pissed on. Move all the intake. Fucker's wedge doing there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is that damn base tube. <laughs> Kind of suction on there. I think it's stuck on the back side. What kind of music you listen to? Whatever. Rock? Rock country. You don't have a favorite? Nah. We oh. listen to all kinds of stuff up at work. It's whatever's on there. Yeah. Okay. There's two washers on top of there. Okay. Another parts to our parts pile. <laughs> Removable with the injector wiring harness. I'm sure you get in the situations where shit's been on there so long that it's hard to get off. Or it just fucking breaks when it comes off, eh? Yeah. Moving the valve cover. Oh man, look at all that shit in there. <laughs> Removal of the injector wiring harness. What the hell was that? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ratchet hitting studs. I'm gonna need a shallow well. These valves pretty easy to adjust? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, fucking ATS. Yeah, so we got the back half of the turbo exhaust unbolted. He's working on a bolt injector wiring harness. Now I need to move this boost tube here. I need to pull this thing off. I'm pulling this off right here. A little tight. <laughs> so now we're just down it to our injectors, rocker assemblies, shit like that. Okay, so we got our boost tubes removed. Now it's time to unbolt the last bolts and remove the exhaust manifold. Now we're removing the injector fuel lines. A little bit at a time. Is that a uh, intake heater going to be in the way? I hope not. Hey, got the exhaust manifold removed. What are you working on here? Pulling the injector lines and the intake heater off. Okay. Gotta remove this lower rear hose here. Then remove this and see what goes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it right now or not with uh, without pulling this out. Move all the injector. Oh, he's still working on the nut. I got the nut out.
We have the push rods and rockers. Fucking dirty bastard. <laughs> Hit the floor. Okay. Yeah, right there's your box. That sits in there like that. Yeah. Those really didn't need to come off there for the adjustment. Huh? Those are for the adjustment. Oh, they didn't have to come out? That one loose. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's not good, right? Uh -uh. Hopefully, no other ones are like that. That would cause your injector to lift when it's sprayed, right? Probably just stuck in there from carbon. Yeah, I might need a pry bar. Not when you use that big one. Uh, there's injector number one. Okay, uh, tell you what. Let's lay these right here, then we'll get them in order. So, uh, okay. that was number one, right? Is there a rag in here, paper towel? Uh, let me get some. What's that? Injector line. Is that, a, is that always the bitch part? They're heavy. It says it weighs 200 pounds. Yeah. They're heavy. What's the heaviest head you've seen, really? ISX head. ISX head. One head. One solid head for all six cylinders. I'm just going to kind of lay these all in here. It, like you said, if you said they don't matter, right? Why? You know what really sucks in the bottom of the rib cage? Hood latches. Oh yeah. Pry bars over here. I'll catch it for you. Just pull it up out. Yeah, it's all yours. So is that all diesel fuel right there? That old diesel fuel right yeah, there. It should be. Oh. 
everybody. Cool. Uh, so we got four more. I'm gonna stop recording because you guys seen the first two, then we'll get the head removal. Got a minor situation here. Foot kinda went through the crate here. <laughs> <I'm stuck. laughs> oh shit. Never come on now. <laughs> what boot lace? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How's that make you feel? Thanks. <laughs> Head bolt removal. We're gonna have to take these rockers off. What the fuck's that smell? Oil. Oh. It smells like burning oil. You gotta remember though, these are head bolts. Well, I don't know what that'll save me, right? We're gonna have to take these rockers off. Okay, we'll get those rockers off then. I'll have to do the rest of this one, Ratchet. Yeah. Okay, now uh, for this part, taking out these last push rods, we already took them out, but we installed one for reference. Get in there some. There's a hole right here that this cap goes into. What you do is pull this cap out. Then all you gotta do is stick your push rod up through here in that hole. You know, give it a little wiggle, pull it down this way. And that's how you get your damn push rod out of the back. Okay, good. So now we got all the push rods moved, all the head gaskets. Now we're getting ready for the head removal. 26 head bolts. Do you want to hook the chain up to the back or you want to drag it off? We'll drag it off first. Okay. You're going to have to get a different hook. Huh? Well, that's junk now, anyways, right? Just start on that drain right there. Oh, okay, that'll work. Where'd you go? Kicking the bucket of bolts? Yeah, god damn it, I kicked the bucket of bolts. Kick the bucket. <laughs> I'm a bitch. Is that injector still good back there? Yeah. You know what? I think we are going to set this. Because, see how I'm saying? That sharp corner back there? Yeah, it's going to catch. Yeah. Coming back down. Okay, stretch a chain across there. Some bitch. Now for the removal. Attempt two. Is that fuel injector dragon? So I said you should have hooked it right here so your head tilted a little bit. Up. Oh. Up. Keep going up. That's wait. Right. Pull. Wait, wait, wait. We got it. That's good. Okay, it's going to hit right there. Yeah, watch out. Let's fit. Pick it up. Wait, wait, wait. You got another line right there. Wait. Whoa, whoa. It's not going to fall, it just leans on that leg. Set it down. Very lightly, gently. Okay. 
What do you think about that line now? Huh? Yeah, see it doesn't fall, it just leans too. Keep a little tension on it. I think it'll fall. Huh? I think it'll fall. Okay, so we got our head off. Did a little bit of diesel fuel out of them cylinders. Other than that, we're pretty much done. So this is what your cylinder head looks like. Uh, Dodge Cummins 24 valve. This is a common rail injection head. So now the last thing we gotta do is remove this last injector here. And that's it. Seven eight. Turning your line in it. So this is the part that goes in the head. Besides in that hole right there. Okay. All the holes in the projector in is eight millimeter. And it just pops right out of there. That simple. I go straight down the cylinder head. And that's it. So this was a video by Yamaha GYTR Racing 21 of disassembling a Dodge Cummins within two weeks. We'll be reassembling it, so I'll get a more detailed picture of it, video of it. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed that video, and there'll be more to come. Bye.